This is the G, the Freemason G, inside the uh, Sun hieroglyph. And the G as in, uh, as in G-Man, G20, we find it everywhere. Uh, yeah, so the G. means Gola or, the, or Golut, it's Hebrew for Diaspora, that's where the G is from. Pyramid, a big one and uh, three small ones and there's also a hexagram in it. Uh, by the way there are 500 Hebrew words in the Japanese language. <laughs> This is the French car, uh, Citroën. It's the original Apis hieroglyph from Egypt and before the, um, the means of transport and tractor was the, uh, uh, was the bull. And this means bull. And now the means of transport is this one here. Showing the Hagal room, which the Nazis and Mr. Himmler liked a lot and there was even an SS Hagal and all this and you can find these things just like hanging around on you know here in Switzerland they're still very fond of these sort of things the oval and the Templar symbol as in the oval office and the uh, the all-seeing eye the oval and the oval and the oval. That is the Nazi SS rune. And the Templar symbol. There it is. What is? Uh, this is one Templar symbol up and one down. And if you move them over each other, you get something else. Well, this is a sort of a sun hieroglyph and uh, the uh, Anunnaki symbol and the symbol for Ma'at uh, slightly in a different form uh, this is the sun hieroglyph in a different form the round thing and the bars but it's uh, um, yeah now here we got the Apis hieroglyph and Apis is the pharaonic hieroglyph, a perfectly one, for, uh, for a bull. And it's also two times the Templar sign. So the Apis is two times the, uh, yeah, the bull. The bull is two times the Templar sign, as strong as a bull. And we find this a lot in Switzerland, actually, that, they, uh, that the bull is being... Uh, almost like a sacred animal. Here we got a perfect sun hieroglyph. It's re really perfect. As we see on the American airplanes as well. The round in the middle and the two bars on each side. Well, this is the double pyramid construction enterprise. All the things you can do with two pyramids, eh? There it is again. The sun hieroglyph, like on American airplanes, the two things on the side and the round thing in the middle, and the pyramid in the middle as well. Oh, this is 100% Pharaoh proof. It is. This guy is on the world. Now. So here again, the sun hieroglyph, the round thing in the middle with two bars on each side. Like on the US, uh, US Air Force planes, like with the star in the middle and uh, the bars, you know, like on each side, yeah. Uh, it's all pharaonic. Well, this is the symbol of the Templars. Uh, just uh, turned around like uh, 90 degrees. And, uh, well, you can find the symbol, you know, everywhere on tanks and armaments and choppers and all that so this of course is a Swiss bank a Templar's bank so yeah 
Well, this is Christmas today. Christmas 2011 in Switzerland. I tell you, Christmas is not funny in Switzerland as a foreigner, as an immigrant. I can tell you that. And uh, so do watch the Pharaoh show for more on the same channel. Schauen Sie die Pharaonen Show für mehr auf dem gleichen Kanal. Allez voir le Pharaon Show pour savoir plus sur la, uh, la même chaîne. So, um, in business too, all the symbols are purely pharaonic. They rule your ass and they rule, they run the show. And this is their biggest base, the Templar State of Switzerland. We don't want that one on it. Bloody witch. Well, Swiss Templars are watching you, and so is Swiss Optic. Well, uh, this is definitely the all-seeing eye and the Templars cross in it. And uh, you see how it's even moved, the cross in the red circle, it's slightly moved uh, to the left of the eye. And this is the, um, well, it's typically an eye. And, uh, well, this, for, for once, this is the right eye. Usually it's the, uh, the left eye. Uh, it doesn't, doesn't make any difference, does it? Yeah. Here in Switzerland. Logos. Pharaonic. Another Pharaonic uh, logo. And we also see two triangles. The one is actually white and the other one is uh, darker the negative and the positive one which, can, which you can fold over each other in two directions um, ending up into the adding up into the um, uh, the hexagram <clears throat> and if you only look at the, the blue thing here like this blue or here we've got the uh, the Templar sign yeah. Yeah. Almost like the NATO. Yeah. And if it's like this, it's almost like a uh, like a uh, sun hieroglyph. Right. Oh, we know that one. That's Isis. Isis from the stars. And. Uh, Square and compass in Bern, Switzerland, and it has the sun hieroglyphics the round thing in the middle and the two bars at each side. Sun hieroglyph, sun hieroglyph. Now, why do you think the O is that big? Why not the P? Why do you think it's red? Well, it's the sun. It's red, eh? The sun hieroglyph. Well, it's not in the middle this time, but shit happens. Well, that's the V sign, the Templars. Sign of the Templars. There it is. As on the tanks and choppers. There's another name for Switzerland. And another delta here. I like the delta. There's one side of a pyramid. Sun hieroglyph. Sun hieroglyph. The oval is from the all seeing eye. Oh, the owl. Sun hieroglyph. British petrol. How many pyramids do you say? It says five. Well, I see seven up and two down. Lots of pyramids. And more pyramids. This is a very modern uh, improvisation of the sun hieroglyph. The sun in the middle and the two bars on each side. It happens. Uh, the bars are like rounded and um, uh, vertically. 
but it, it is the same bars. Sun hieroglyph. Oh, look at the sun flares. Oh, look at the pyramid. Wow. Bloody pharaohs. Huh? 